So I'm trying to go to bed, and it's hard because I have guys like this making videos. I'm going to let it play, and I'm going to explain what Phil, dumbass, for real, is saying. This is absolutely ignorance 101. I don't even know why I watch this shit. And a lot of people are frustrated. A lot of people are frustrated because when you try to give people accurate information that they can see for themselves, they put their emotions in it first before they do anything. And then they record a video and then they go to tweet and then they go to Facebook and then they go to Reddit. And it's like, can you please like stop putting your emotions out there first and put out some due diligence? Because I just want to put this out there. He's never made a video of due diligence whatsoever. It's all emotion. And he's mad that other people are posting videos emotionally about their investment, which they could. The Marine, um, I don't know who else is upset, but there's a group of people upset right now. I think even out from Boston's upset. A lot of people are upset about this vote. About, and this guy just basically just copied everything AMC Bigham said in his live. He, I know he's the moderator for AMC Bigham's, but he runs over and he says the same thing AMC Bigham said. And it's like, do you have any thoughts of your own? But I'm going to let him explain to you what he doesn't want people to do. He doesn't want them to get emotional and make videos and go put them up online. Or does he? I don't know. You know, now mind you, this is my channel. I can put whatever I want on my channel. I can say whatever I want on my channel. This is my channel. So these are my feelings. And if you can't agree with it, oh fucking well, go fucking jump in the road and play in it, motherfucker. I don't. So why are you mad at people posting videos about their emotions on their channel? It's their channel. If you don't agree with it, if you don't want to watch it, then go fucking play in the road. But you don't leave the driveway. We know you're a tough guy in the streets who doesn't leave the driveway. I don't, I don't give a fuck at this point. It's like this. The only thing that, like I said, the only thing that the people that say no, the only con that they're able to explain in full entirety is, hey, you're going to have less shares. That is, yeah, sure, that's a guarantee. It's a 10 for 1. So 1 for 10, whatever the fuck it is. It's a 10 for 1. Yes, you're going to have less shares. But the other thing that they're assuming and just assuming, okay, is that, oh, they're, they're just going to be able to short it more. So how you know? So, so how you know? Oh, my God. And that's not the only con. We listed all the cons in the last live stream. I'll let you go watch it, though, Phil. But I'll let you keep talking because you keep talking out of your ass. This gets better. So yeah, they're going to be able to short it more, right? They're just going to short it. They're just going to short it. Sure, let them short it. A company that's zero debt, lower float, big time movies coming out, potential merger with, D with, D with Disney. Huh? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Huh? First off, the 10 to 1 reverse split puts you in the realm of around $25 to $35. You're not even there right now, but if you got there, it's 150 million shares. How are you going to pay off debt? The reverse split does nothing for the debt. You still have to dilute the shares of the company by selling shares and raising capital. They didn't want to buy it at a dollar. They didn't want to buy it at $2, $3. You think they want to buy your, your trumped up shares at $25? They bought it at 60 cents. So. Where do you think they're going to buy it at? What merger with Disney? Disney's not taking on $5 billion of debt. So how are you going to pay off $5 billion of debt? I'm asking you. The only way Disney's going to do this deal is if they buy AMC outright. And we're talking about pennies on the dollar. Therefore, all shareholders will get nothing. But I'm asking you, what? how are you zero debt? Do you not see the big $5 billion of debt they owe? Nobody wants to touch this stock. Only the bondholders, the only the bondholders bought shares. Do you get why? Do you understand? They take money up front. They help bankrupt this company. They drive it to the ground from within. They short the stock. Yes. They apply pressure. It's called distressed credit investing. Google the fucking term. Now they're going to gut the company and you're not going to have anything. But if you were to dilute this stock, you would have to sell how many shares? How many shares at under a dollar would you have to sell to pay off $5 billion? You don't even have enough. You can't even make up enough. You think people want to buy your, your trumped up shares, your 10 to 1 shares? Is that it? I'll, I'll wait for you. Are you guys all going to load up now? Now it's a small float? That's what it is? You don't think they can manipulate a small float? You don't think they can manipulate a stock at a higher price? 
Go look at Tesla. They were shorting the stock at 2000 a share, 1000 a share, 400 a share, 200 a share. I'm talking about for years. You think they're worried about your little funky-ass stock? You are clueless. You have done zero DD, no homework at all. You are stuck in your echo chamber of AMC Biggums and Boss Blunts, and all you guys deserve each other. You're going to lose every dollar you ever put in. And I doubt it's a lot, because it doesn't look like you have a lot. But I won't even do the personal attack. I'll just tell you, fix your broken wing there, because you're going to want to fly. You're going to want to fly real far away from this stock when it's all said and done. Certainly away from this YouTube channel of misinformation you and Biggums puts out. But I'll let you keep talking about zero debt. I don't under... A, a merger with Disney. Hey, I hope they do merge with Disney. I hope you guys find a way out of this mess. But I, what's it going to cost you? And all you got is, oh, they're going to short it some more. Um, short it. Put puts on it. Go do you. Go make some money. If you feel like this is what, that's what it is, then go and show and prove. Show that you put short, puts on AMC. Short it. Just know you're going to lose. So. Shorters haven't lost on this stock in over a year and a half. And they didn't even lose on the run-up. They actually made money. They continue to short it from 72 all the way down to $2, $3 a share. You're joking. Short it. Go ahead. Let me see. And with that being said, Thanks for the, the advice. shorts cover? No? No. <sighs> the fuck we talking about? That's what I was going to yeah, ask you. And like I said, good energy goes out to everybody that's going through a sickness right now. Fuck you and your good energy. You guys set yourself up for this shit. I'm tired of your bullshit videos, your little parody songs, all the shit you do. You're trying to string people along in this play. Tell them you're going to vote yes. Your vote doesn't fucking matter. You're making a video about people still, I'm still voting yes. Nobody cares. Adam Aaron has the votes himself without you. This is why they sold the stock. This is why they put out the press release. Because now they're negotiating other said shares they're about to sell off to other people. With the idea of, hey, by the way, this is what we're doing now. And Tara's in charge. They hold 20% of this company. I'm just the here. I'm just a figure piece. Adam Aaron's just a poster child of robbing retail. That's going to be his legacy. And you, your legacy, well, is going to be making terrible fucking AMC YouTube videos. That's what you're going to live by, bro. Enjoy the two bucks. Enjoy everything you're not getting. And I don't know what else to tell you. It's late, man. Get some sleep. Peace, scrub.